Hey y'all, it's Ryan, and today I want to talk to you about how stress can make us more vulnerable to infections like coronavirus. So stress affects our immune systems in ways that can impact lots of different diseases. And luckily we have decades of badass research on how psychological stress dysregulates our immune systems to make us more susceptible to certain diseases or to have more trouble and more severe responses when we get infected. So today I'm gonna to talk about some of that research and how we can extrapolate those implications to coronavirus. So how do you measure whether psychological stress makes a person more vulnerable to something like coronavirus or the common cold? The best evidence comes from a series of studies called the Pittsburgh Common Cold Project. Here they experimentally exposed people to rhinovirus, which is a virus that causes the common cold, and then they assessed who was infected as well as how severe their illness expression, so their symptoms, were after. And there were three iterations of the, these studies. And at baseline, people self-reported their age, income, and lots of other social, psychological, demographic, and also physical health conditions. Then people were exposed to rhinovirus using nasal drops. Then some people seroconvert and are infected, and some people do not. Then they began a five-day quarantine at a hotel. And during this five-day quarantine, researchers asked participants to complete daily affect measures. They measured their daily activity, as well as nasal clearance and mucus weight. Then researchers followed up with participants 28 days later to see if the people had antibodies. Just like we talk about now with coronavirus, right? We wanna be sure that we know who actually developed a cold because then we can analyze what predicts who didn't get infected even when they were experimentally exposed to rhinovirus, which can cause the common cold. And some of these findings have been extremely important for understanding how stress affects our immune systems and makes some people more vulnerable to infections. So I'll tell you about one of the most important findings and how it relates to coronavirus risk now. When we're stressed, our bodies release cortisol, which is a glucocorticoid that normally helps to limit inflammation. And for a time, we measured cortisol levels, and some people still do, and there's reason to, but there's another more pernicious effect of glucocorticoid receptor resistance, and I'll tell you more about that. So inflammation typically occurs in response to a perceived threat or invader. But chronic stress for over a month can desensitize the receptors responsible for recognizing cortisol as anti-inflammatory. Then we have a chronically overactivated inflammatory response and no way to turn it off. So when we apply this to coronavirus or respiratory infections, this overactive inflammatory response in the lungs can turn into pneumonia for some people. So chronic stress allows for this unbridled slash less regulated inflammatory response in our bodies. And that puts people at greater risk for heart disease and also other chronic conditions, but also a greater risk of more severe illness when infected with a virus like the common cold or potentially coronavirus. All right, y'all, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by. Please click like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.